Bali is a female Labrador retriever who is almost two years old. For the last 18 months, Bali has been in a preliminary puppy training program to see if she could enter an adult guide dog program for the Royal Society for the Blind in Adelaide. Bali went to live with ABC radio presenter Annabelle Homer when she was just two months old as part of this puppy educator program. She was born in February. I picked her up in April, so she was two months old. And it was on International Guide Dog Day in the mall. And uh, I had to train her for 18 months. At first I thought, oh, this will be a piece of cake. Just have to take the dog to work, toilet train the dog. Um, oh, it'd be fine, but it's a lot harder than you think. We had to, to do training sessions once a week down at the RSB. Uh, we went into the city, we did a lot of training in, on escalators, on buses, trains, getting used to crowds, get, taking to dog parks, getting used to dogs. And uh, so that was all part of the training process. So it was quite full on. One of the other skills Bali had to learn was how to go to work every day and sit in an office doing nine to five. This is Late Afternoons, I'm Annabelle Homer and uh, stay with me until 6 o'clock because we're going to the be The prerequisites of having a, a dog from the Royal Society for the Blind is the dog has to be with you most of the time. Uh, has to go to, to work with you every day, has to um, sleep inside the house. You have to take the dog outside on lead most times. She's a pretty nice girl, she makes everyone over guests cheery in the office. It's a bit sad the day she's not there, everyone looks forward to Bali coming in. Yeah, I've got to be honest with you. I mean, sometimes you get you might get a little bit upset in the office about uh, little things, and when you see Barley, she's looking up at you with these big brown eyes. It's hard not to sort of have those worries melt away, and you forget about them, which is fantastic. It's really unusual to have a dog in the workspace. It's something that doesn't happen very often in uh, modern corporate life, and I have to say that it's great. When you're feeling a little bit stressed or you just need a break, you just go and play with Barley for five minutes. <laughs> but Barley is a beautiful dog. So, and if anybody sees those eyes and looks into them, they would know that. You spend a lot of time on your computer, so now and again need to avert your eyes from the screen to give them a rest, and what a better thing to be able to glance at than a beautiful little puppy face sitting just behind you. I mean, we're lucky here at the ABC office here, we've got a bit of a backyard that they can have a bit of a roam around and not get up to too much mischief. So it depends on those circumstances. I mean, it's not like if you've got a pet giraffe, you can bring that to work. Uh, um, yeah, she's just a beautiful dog. Bali showed incredible promise as a potential guide dog, except for one command, the busy, busy command. The commands are usually leave it, was when she's doing something wrong, and leave it, and she's pretty good at doing that. Uh, other commands is uh, she has to sit and wait to be fed, and then you whistle and then she can approach her food. Find the curb, find the ramp when you're walking down the street. Uh, up, sit, up, stand, all those traditional commands, and heal. The other command is busy busy, which is when she is supposed to toilet on command. Not so good at doing that, unfortunately, which is her downfall. She's a bit precious when it comes to that. She only likes to go to the toilet when she wants to. Bali, in nice words, is a playful dog. In more honest words, she's naughty. <laughs> She just, she's just like a person, she has her moods, she has her ups and downs and when she was on her lady time, she was, I don't know if I can say that. Her, her favourite meals come from bins or people's handbags. I guess like a little kid. Sometimes she reminds me of my husband who chases balls around and gets really excited. She's just too naughty. That's it, she's just a naughty dog. He's barked on air once, which is a bit... Uh... A bit frustrating. I was reading the news headlines at the time. She only really likes you when you've got food. She's a bit of a user, so I don't know if I would hang out with her out of work hours. So it came down to the last assessment. I took her down to the RSB. The RSB hadn't seen her for a while, considering she now lives in the country with me. And uh, they said to me, Belle, you really need to sort out this toilet training situation, getting to her to toilet on command, because that is a must to get her through to the formal program. I had a month to get it down pat. So, is you right, Barley? Okay, pick up on that. Every time I introduce Barley to someone and tell them about the Puppy Educator Program, the first thing that most people say is, oh, how are you going to feel when you have to give her up? And at the start of the program, I was like, no, 
was fine. I won't get that attached. It's, 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 a good, it's for a good cause and it'll be fine. But the fact is you're spending every day with this animal, you get quite attached. And the closer I got to knowing that she'll be leaving me, I started to get quite upset, <laughs> which is quite sad, really. But uh, I just, yeah, she's like my best friend. We just do everything together. People will miss her because she gets talked about a lot on the radio. She has her own segment on Bell Show, for goodness sake, so she can't just disappear completely. Barley's Bottles, which uh, Annabelle's been broadcasting on her late afternoons program, and of course, as you mentioned, she does like to work like a dog, and you know, we sort of came up with the idea, because uh, being a guide dog in training, we thought some people might need a bit of a guidance with their footy tips. And these AFL teams have made the finals, so Barley will hopefully predict who's going to be our premiership winner by picking up one bottle. She's picked the minor premier, Hawthorne. After 18 months of training Barley through the highs and the lows, Barley has officially failed as a Royal Society for the Blind Guide Dog. Um, I think she's a bit stubborn. That would be a personality trait. She probably knew how to do the things she failed at, but but decided not to, I guess, so a bit of princess-like qualities there. Um, but also, I have a feeling maybe she knew what was going on and, and didn't want to leave Belle, so there's a loyalty trait there. When she found out she wasn't going to be a guide dog, maybe the, the burden got lifted a little bit because all of a sudden, last night, she let me pat her for almost three minutes, just pure patting. It was like she was a different dog. I don't know if it was just me, but... She just came into the office and she was just a lot more happier and she just seemed a lot more carefree. For Bali, it may seem disappointing after all the intensive training to finally find that she was not good enough to enter the adult guide dog program. But perhaps Bali will be more than happy to lead an ordinary life, that of being a well-loved house dog. <laughs>